First number is 7 for 33. That's what Knicks rookie R.J. Barrett is shooting so far over two summer league games. Pablo, this cause for concern already? I'm of two minds about this. The one mind is the rational mind that says Trey Young struggled in summer league. Steph Curry shot like 34% in summer league. And so let's give R.J. Barrett more of a shot. But my other brain says he's not good when you give him shots. He doesn't, he's, he can't do it, man. Like, I have a real hard time with a guy who is fulfilling all of the criticisms, even if... It's just two summer league games. Well, I mean, the question with R.J. Barrett is, why is it everybody's so sure that he could shoot? Like, could he shoot in high school and I just missed it at Duke? Because it looks like he should be really good at this stuff. It was the same case with Cam Reddish. Is he actually good at those things? I don't know. And yes, there's room to give him to see if he's going to improve. Because look, he's out here in summer league and he ain't got no reason to do anything other than put up shots, no. right? Like, not all these shots were great, but this is not encouraging, no. No, and if you talk to even delusional Knicks fans, like, this, the floor on him seemed to be like, maybe he's DeMar DeRozan, that'd be great. But what if the floor on him is actually like Andrew Wiggins? What if he, I mean, maybe that's too on the nose because of the Canada stuff, because of the body type stuff, but what if it's a guy who just never figures it out to that Let's extent? Let's get back to the idea that you were delusional enough to think that the floor was a multiple time all-star. That was the floor, was a multiple time all-star. Well, you heard how MSG, how New York City rather, at Barclays applauded. We have Russ, our man in here, talking about how RJ Barrett held his own in Summer League. Was that holding anything? You're just sadly shaking your head as us. Yeah, you. yeah, you're the one on the TV show. Yeah, That's Russ, good. thank you for helping me out there. But the point is this, delusion is common currency here, and RJ Barrett has a bar to jump over. I didn't realize that the bar was going to be this low and he wouldn't be able to jump over that. Dang, man, it's summer league, though. Don't do this to yourself. You're not even like enough of an actual Knicks fan to pull this off. But I'm from Manhattan, and every time I see this happening, I am given PTSD from the times that I wanted to like this team more. And every time something like this happens, something like it happens. You've liked this team one time in 20 years, and that's when your homeboy was having the luckiest two weeks in NBA history. The greatest two weeks in NBA history will always have 2012. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.